What's up guys, Warlog here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another Apex Legends video for you and I'm gonna teach you how to use Bangalore. Let's do it. If you guys are new here and wanna improve your gameplay, get better aim and other Apex Legends tips, start now by subscribing and clicking that bell so you guys don't miss out on anything. All right guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to play Bangalore, okay? I'm gonna give you some tips, show you a few things that you can incorporate into your gameplay, but first we're gonna break down her abilities. Bangalore's abilities are pretty simple, all things considered. Her passive ability, Double Time, allows her to sprint 30% faster if she gets shot at while sprinting, which means you can dip and dodge bullets like Neo. Next up is her tactical ability, the Smoke Launcher. It can fire two high-velocity smoke canisters at a time, and each one explodes into three smaller smoke grenades, which forms into a smoke wall that deals a small amount of damage to enemies when they explode. Last up is Bangalore's ultimate, Rolling Thunder. Rolling Thunder is an artillery strike that brings missiles crashing down into the ground that slowly creep across the landscape, which lodges them into the ground for a short time before exploding. All right, now that you know what Bangalore's abilities are, I'm going to show you how they work here in the firing range. So first up is her tactical ability, the Smoke Launcher. The Smoke Launcher, you get two of these, which you can see by the little arrows down by my tactical button, which is L1 because I'm on controller. So you get two of these, which recharge in about 15 seconds per smoke canister or per smoke fire and what you can see is is when you go to ignite these you can hold this and it allows you to see a little arrow of where you're going to shoot the smoke but as you fire the smoke as you're going to see it's going to ignite when it hits the ground and you see three little canisters explode creating a smoke wall this is very good for a lot of reasons which we're going to get into later but that is how her ability works for tactical smoke okay you're going to be able to fire these back to back you can fire them up high See how far it goes? Igniting smoke to give cover, etc., and all these different things. One thing that's really great about the smoke, guys, is that if you have a digi threat, if you got a digi threat or your team has one or anybody that can see inside smoke, you're going to be able to see the target even though they're covered in smoke with this red outline with the digi threat. You're going to be able to see that and continue fighting. So that's one great thing about using the smoke launcher. Next up is her ultimate ability, Rolling Thunder. Okay, once you've accumulated the time and charge rate or with ultimate accelerants to get it, you can hold these buttons and it pulls out a little, you know, canister, which is going to, you know, be your, your artillery airstrike to call down. Okay, once you press it, you can hold it out. You can always cancel this with triangle or whatever your weapon swap is. So you don't always have to use it when you bring it out. But once you do, you have it. And again, it's going to show you that same smoke red line that you're going to see of where you're going to throw it. Now, when you throw the airstrike, it's going to go in that direction from wherever you threw it, okay? So if you throw it right here down at the ground, the airstrike is going to start here at the ground. Or if you throw it way out at this rock, it's going to start there. So what you're going to want to do is, you see your targets, you're going to want to try to aim it. Now, the, the length of this is pretty long. So I'm just going to throw it right here so you guys can see. So I throw it down, right? It's going to call in my airstrike. Look how wide the lines are. It goes almost all the way across, and then it slowly expo explodes, dealing 40, amount, 40 points of damage on every little hit that you get from it. As you see, I took 40 points, which is a good chunk of your health. All right, so make sure you're aiming properly when you're using the Rolling Thunder. All right, guys, next up is her ability, Double Time. As you're getting shot at, which shout out to my boy Finesse for helping me with this, but when you're being shot at, guys, you're going to see a little icon which indicates you running, okay? What this is going to showcase is your speed boost when you're getting shot at by enemy players. Now, this also counts for when an, our, an ultimate is about to hit you or anything like that. It is going to go off, which you are going to see that little icon that showcases your speed boost. Now, this speed boost used to be 40 seconds, but now it's down to 30 seconds because otherwise you would be zooming across the map like Sonic the Hedgehog. So every time you get shot at, you're going to see that little speed boost icon and you're going to be able to continuously run for five to six seconds with that speed boost. Okay, now that you guys know what her abilities are and how they work, now let's get into some advanced tips that you can use in your gameplay. First one I want to talk about is double time information. This is a very important and useful way to use double time and I don't think a lot of players think of it when it happens. But when double time triggers, it means that someone is shooting at you or bullets are flying around in the vicinity because a fight is happening or there's one that's close by, which happens to trigger the double time ability. Now, in normal situations, all members of your team should be able to hear gunshots going off in the Apex games. But it is good information to give your team, especially if you have gone a bit without fighting. 
Next up, guys, is fire your smoke canisters a lot. There's a couple different ways that we can use Bangalore smoke to our advantage. First is covering yourself and teammates to heal. What I mean is when you're about to start a syringe or, or cell, press your tactical button, which will fire your smoke canisters. And me personally, I like to look down at the ground so smoke will cover me while I'm healing. And Bangalore may be the, one of the only legends in the game that can be healing and use a tactical ability at the same time. Now for your teammates, when they need to heal or when you're going to revive a teammate, always fire smoke grenades to conceal your revive from enemies, especially after that teammate is out in the open and they will be weak and need to heal without a fear of a long shot knocking them down. Next is using your smoke canisters to block line of sight and or run from a fight. When you feel like you're being weak or you're being shot at and you're out of position, use your smoke canisters to block line of sight from your enemies and allow yourself to get away to a safe spot to heal. This works especially in crowded areas or in small spaces, but out in the open is even better. Next is using the smoke to blind your enemies. Blinding opponents directly when you're engaging a team that's medium to long distance away from you is a good way to close the gap and fire smoke canisters exactly where the team is. This blinds them long enough for your team to get in close and make a more manageable fight. In addition, the enemy team won't have full knowledge of where you're at, which will make it them unprepared and unaware, which will give your team the edge. Now on to Bangalore's ultimate. Calling in Rolling Thunder as a defensive measure rather than using Rolling Thunder as to attack a group fighting in the open, save it for when you're in a tight spot. For example, if you're pinned down in a building or you're in a tight spot out in the open and enemies are trying to flush you out or they're shooting down on you, throw Rolling Thunder out of a window or directly at the enemies and they will have two options. Retreat to escape the missiles or advance even closer into your team where you're going to be waiting for them. Rolling Thunder is a great way to retreat from a fight that you don't want to take or a bad fight that may put your team eliminated from the Apex games. Using Rolling Thunder to run will also allow you and your team to regroup, heal, and then reassess the situation and engage the fight. Now onto the offensive way to use Rolling Thunder. Pushing enemies that are far away. Throwing Rolling Thunder at an enemy team far away or holding up in a building is a great way to force them into a location and prevent them from shooting you when you're trying to close the gap. But keep in mind that while Rolling Thunder doesn't do damage to your teammates, they will be affected by the vision impairment and the slowdown if they are hit. So timing the push as soon as you launch Rolling Thunder and getting your team to the high ground or a new position will leave teams confused and backed into a corner giving your team the edge to win the gunfight. Using Rolling Thunder this way is also a great way to take someone's position, taking a team's position. So they're holding up in a building or a high ground, you launch Rolling Thunder, they escape or run away, and then you move in to take the new position. Last is using Bang's ultimate to reset a fight. You're between multiple teams or you have a team that has you in a bad position. Throwing Rolling Thunder will allow you to reset a fight. Disengage from the, the combat, heal, revive a teammate, move to a better location, and then re-engage the fight. A lot of players don't use Bangalore's ultimate this way, but I think it's the, one of the most vital ways to use an ultimate in a game, especially one that has such a wide area of coverage. Now onto the small details, guys. Bangalore is in the middle of the pack when it comes to her hitbox, being just 33% larger than Wraith's, who has the smallest hitbox in the game. So when you stack up Bangalore's hitbox with double time passive ability, she becomes a very, very tough target to hit. Now let's look at team compositions. What are some good team legends to pair her with? Good legends to pair with Bangalore are Caustic and Bloodhound. Bloodhound and Caustic both work very well with Bangalore. If you lay down some smokes and shroud enemies in it, causing them to be confused, Bloodhound can then pop her ultimate or scan with her tactical ability so we can see all the enemies inside it due to the red outline. Caustic can also do the same thing if he throws his Nox gas grenade into the smoke or if enemies set off gas traps inside it. Now these are just suggestions of legends that can work with Bangalore and Apex, but any team comp can work in theory. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really do hope it helps you out on how to play Bangalore. I hope it gives you some tips and tricks that you can incorporate into your gameplay. Bangalore is my favorite legend in the game and the first one that I really mastered playing the game since launch. So I really put a lot of effort into this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, guys, make sure to hit that like button as it does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Apex Legends tips videos. 
And for me, Warlog, as always, guys, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.